welcome back to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to be fully cleaning my kitchen which means mopping, hoovering the floors, wiping the surfaces, washing up and just basically making the kitchen look kind of back to normal. Each week I'm going to try and show me doing like a different room in my house. Next weekend I won't be able to post a cleaning video because I'm going on holiday with my family. I'm going with Jamie, my boyfriend, uh, my parents and my brother and his girlfriend. So that will be for a week but I am hoping to video every single day whilst I'm there and post a video every day. That depends on the wi-fi at the place that we're going to so we'll see about that but there won't be any cleaning video but there will be like loads more videos going up on my channel. The reason why I like to post holiday vlogs is because it's something that I can look back on in the future. You know, it's like a record of that holiday and like memories of what we did and everything. And sometimes you forget things that you've done. So it's good to kind of watch those. So I always like to do a holiday vlog every time I go on holiday. Every time I hoover the kitchen floor, it always gets really messy straight away that same day. And it's so annoying in my head because I don't want to hoover again. But I try and sweep up the bits. But basically my dogs... Oh, sorry, people are shouting downstairs because there's football on. <laughs> I do apologise, I'm getting a bit distracted. Um, my family are over with um, like my mum, my dad, my brother are over and they're all watching football with Jamie and they're just shouting at the TV whilst I'm doing this voiceover. So I do apologise, I'm getting a bit distracted. Um, but yes, what was I saying? That is a good question. Um, hoovering, yes. Um, yeah, the dogs make a mess in the kitchen the same day that I hoover because I clean out my rabbit's hutch outside and the dogs will come outside and they'll come over to me in the hutch and they will just try and eat the sawdust. So they have sawdust all around their mouths and they just, you know, trample that back into the house and all over the floor. So I have to try and get the rabbit's cage cleaned whilst the dogs are still in the house because otherwise it's an absolute nightmare but it's unrealistic for me to expect that no bits from outside will come into the house when I've got dogs but I just find kind of like the black colour of the floor just shows up bits like that a bit more um, but you know it is what it is there's worse things they could be trampling in they could be I don't know stepping in poo and bringing it into the kitchen it's just sawdust so it's not a problem to me down the street with your red lips and funky beat You better hold your head up to the sky I'm gonna roll with you till the day I die
I like to clean the sink area every single week. This is obviously where I wash up, so I want to keep it as clean as possible. I don't really like my sink because it is black and it has got some paint stains on there and things that I can't actually get off. So it does make it look a bit dirty, but I try and clean things the best that I can. And yeah, like I said, I like to do this every single week. And what I do when I wash up is I rinse off my pots after I've you know, wash them with the soapy water. There was a lot of controversy in a previous video where I um, had washed up and I didn't rinse them off because I was being lazy and people went crazy about it. And I was like, oh, you know, it's not really that deep. And also I'm the kind of person to rinse like things from the cupboards uh, before I use them anyway, like glasses especially. I will always rinse a glass out before I actually use it. So yeah, not a problem to me. Um, but yeah, there was a bit of washing up to do today as you can see uh jamie did the washing up off camera so that was done and good i literally took a nap and i woke up and he had done the washing up so i was like oh thank god um because i really couldn't be bothered to do it that day but yeah that's the kitchen all clean and the dogs are there ready and waiting to make it messy again um excuse the noise of the tv and i gave us this rug uh, she gave us this rug and we've just hoovered it. I'm going to do like a carpet cleaner of it as well. But yeah, I, it's a little bit slippy on the floor. We'd probably get a bigger one ideally, but that's good for now. So we also decided to change the room around. If you remember before, the bed was actually like the head of the bed was that side and the TV was over here. We just swapped it around for a bit of a change. I quite like how it looks over here. The only issue is banging your head on there, but I'm sure we'll get used to it at some point. I moved the bin over here, put my plant over there. Um, the dogs will take some getting used to it because normally Cupcake sleeps over there and normally Teddy would sleep down here next to me. I'm pretty sure he won't um, sleep over there. <laughs> He'll have to sleep here. Um, but we'll see what he does. Maybe we'll try, see if he'll sleep over there. So this week's food shop, we got these and they came with like some pizzas and we had them Friday night. It's like cheaper than a takeaway. These were only one pound something and they taste just like Fanta and they're zero sugar, um, orange fizzy things. Um, then we've got watermelon that I got again and cauliflower and butternut squash because I'm making a Father's Day meal tomorrow for my dad and sweet potato, courgettes, carrots, apples. Jamie really likes tortelloni. This is four cheese tortelloni. I've got this um, pork joint for dad for tomorrow to cook. Sausages and then the usual stuff that I have. My smoothie of the week is strawberry and banana. I've got orange juice. This is really good orange juice from Aldi. I actually really like this is the best orange juice I've tried from any of the supermarkets, in my opinion. Um, and then, yeah, just my normal things. I got some gravy, some beans. I got some more coffee for Jamie because it's run out. I did need some oil, but I forgot. And I got these like kind of pot noodle things from Aldi and I'm interested to try them. They were on offer, they were like 70p or something. So we're gonna give them a try at some point. And then I got some more dog food pouches here from Aldi again, £2.50 or something. And then this cereal I really like. This is um, not the healthiest cereal, but it's nice. Um, it's like a chocolate uh, granola thing. And I did get some bacon and some sausages as well because I'm gonna make Jamie some like sausage and bacon sandwiches in the morning because it's Father's Day. It's later on in the day, but I thought that I would do a little baby room update and what's changed in the baby room. It's quite cramped with things, but a lot of this stuff will be in different rooms of the house when the baby is actually here. So me and Jamie got his son a travel cot for when he stays over. So this is gonna be like his room where he sleeps. And this does need a mattress and like bedding and stuff obviously in it but this is what we've got so far i need to push that bit up i've just realized um but yeah i'm just gonna keep this up in here because it's not like the baby's gonna be here for a while I've got that in here i'm gonna move some of this stuff out so he's not cramped my nana gave me this plate which obviously the baby won't be eating from until like six months or more um 
but yeah it's cute or even more than that to be honest um but yeah i thought that was quite cute teddy that's not yours um so we're gonna keep that for now she also gave me some of these bottles which are new i've opened them and everything um and i had a little bit of a look inside them but they're like tommy tippy bottles or whatever you call them um so this is obviously what she can be fed from when she's like really young but we've got like a full set of those she also gave me some nappies i think she was given these um i'm not too sure on like what nappy sizes or brands or anything like fit babies but we will see and there's also some pampers nappies there as well and then she gave me this cowan gate first infant milk um which you can give them from birth um so i've got that as well which she can have so that's quite handy because I was going to get some of that and I was going to buy some nappies and things like that. She also gave me a couple of baby clothes. So this is like a all-in-one, this is second hand by the way, all-in-one um, piece of dress on it. Obviously I'm going to wash all the clothes before she wears them. My Nana also got me a bluish one and then this really cute little jacket when she's a little bit older and then this is so cute this is like a little dinosaur kind of onesie thing so she's gonna look adorable but she will definitely have to be like a few years old to be wearing that so some of this stuff I can save for when she's a lot older but yeah all of the clothes that I've got which is quite a lot now um I'm going to wash them all and organize them back into the wardrobe at some point when I've got time so I need to find a place to put all of this stuff away. In terms of a pregnancy update, I had a midwife appointment yesterday and I mentioned to the midwife that I've had a lot of pain like in my legs and like at the bottom of my stomach and like it just feels like such effort to walk but in a painful way like to get up and stuff and it really hurts and she suggested um, that it's something to do with my pelvis and it's like this... I can't remember what it's called, but there was a name for it. And I think I have that. Um, so great. Um, but yeah, it is very painful. And it's only kind of come on in the past couple of weeks. And it is a struggle to walk and to get up. And it hurts the most when I've been sat down for a while and then I stand up. Um, or if I'm stood up for like over an hour, it will really hurt as well. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really I can do about that. I looked up online and it said it usually goes away like a few weeks after giving birth, but we shall see. Um, she's moving a lot. Her heartbeat was beating good. Um, I did a blood test as well yesterday and everything's fine. Measured me. She said I'm like at the lower end of the scale, like size wise as to what they expected me to be, but it's still like the lower end of like what it should be if you know what I mean like it's still a fine thing um but yeah that's everything so thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next video which will be holiday vlog day one next week which I might post on Saturday I think or Friday night no probably Saturday um but yeah thanks for watching and see you then bye